can everybody see my screen? Yes. <clears throat> Yeah. Yes. 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 Excellent. Good. Okay. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to say, first of all, just a very big welcome to everybody <laughs> to this very first of, of our webinars through the Skills 2 project. Um, so a great, a great big welcome to everyone, wherever you've come from. I think we have more than, we had about 29 people last time I checked. So we may even have more than that now. So normally it would be good to go around everybody, but I don't think we've got time to do that today. So just to say to everybody, welcome. We hope you enjoy today. We hope you get something out from today. And it's great, it's great to see you on here. Um, this is the first in a series of webinars that we intend to be doing over the next, the next while. Um, the second of them actually is later on today. So it's at 1 p.m. Central European time. Um, when we're going to be sharing some experiences and views from Scotland. So you've got an opportunity to join later today and also another date in June. I'm going to try and share the next one. So this, this webinar is going to talk about self-directed support in Europe in a global pandemic. And there will be inputs from Kirsi Canola from KVPS in Finland and from Simon Duffy from the Centre for Welfare Reform in England. And as, we've, as I said, this is part of the Skills 2 project, which is an Erasmus Plus funded project um, through the European Union. A few people have already asked if, we, if we're going to record the meeting and uh, Petri has already started to do that so that you can both listen to it later and or translate it later for other people who may be interested in hearing it. Um, as we've said, this is the first in a series, so uh, um, we are trying some things out. And this, But if you have questions, you can either use the chat function at the bottom of your screen and or to put your questions in writing, and or after the presentations, there will be an opportunity to ask questions just by putting your hand up. So you've got two chances to do that. Use the chat function if that's easier or at the end of presentations, put your hand up and make comments and or ask questions. Okay, so that's really my very brief um, introduction. And what I'm gonna do now is hand over to Kersey.